Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint a Volkswagen Beetle with a Christmas tree on top. So let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper cut out in an 8x10. I have my Winsor Newton watercolors. I have a pencil. I have a ruler and eraser. My prints and snap brushes in a size 16 and a 6. I might grab a 12 later for my big one instead. Water, paper, towel. And I have my iPad with my reference photo. So the first thing we're going to do is draw. And if you watched my pickup trick video, you will see how I usually do this. Um, but if you want to like skip that and you have an iPad, I would suggest putting this on top, turning all the lights down, turning the brightness up and tracing it because it is a lot of less it is a lot less of a headache than measuring it all out. So I'm gonna try and do this. I'm gonna be honest, I've done this a couple times already and I keep messing it up. So I'm gonna show you how I do this, hopefully for the last time and the right time without tracing. So the way I usually do this is I will take the width of the car, which is about five and a half and maybe a bit. So I'm just gonna try and place it, so five and a half and a bit, in the center of my paper, okay? Mm -hmm. Like so. That is the width of my car and the bottom portion. So the wheels will be coming out just below that. Then I'm gonna measure it off by section. Sorry for the glare on this light. I know it's a little annoying, but those are my studio lights because it's a gray day out. Okay, so then I'm gonna measure each section. So I have from the front to this, the top of, I don't, I don't know cars guys, so this part. So it's about one and a half, well about one and, one and three quarters. So I'm just going to do a little boop right there for that. And then the second half here is about one and almost the same, right there, okay? Same kind of deal. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect, even though I need to tell myself that sometimes. And then from the third portion of the car to the back is right there. You can just <laughs> hold it. Okay, and it should equal the back of your car, right? Okay, so there are the three sections. So I'm just gonna draw some lines so I know where these sections are. Okay, back it. All right, now I am going to draw the height of the car. So I want the length of this, where this first part starts and then we'll scoop down. So. I'm gonna grab the measurements there, which is one and a half. One and a half, okay. And then the tallest part is right on this section. So I'm gonna grab that, which is two and like a bit. No, hold on. Yep, two and a bit. Two and a bit like that. Okay, that's the tallest part of the car. Yes. Um, okay. And then right about here is where that windshield will go down. And that's about like half an inch in almost, right? Okay, and it's just about kind of like measuring, okay? So now you're gonna kind of try and draw based on these little measurements. So the front of the car comes over and down here, okay? And then this windshield will come up. And it's a bit of a rounded. I'm going above a bit, but that's fine. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Goes back and then it comes down like so. Okay, now I notice you're seeing more the hood of this car. So the windshield actually comes down below here and then you can see 
the top of this car. It's all about proportions. Honestly, if this is difficult, please don't get frustrated like I do. <laughs> Just trace it. Trace it. I mean, unless you're like planning to sell this as your artwork, I and you're just giving it, or you're putting it up in your house, or you're giving it away, that's fine. Just trace it. I don't condone tracing if you're, like, trying to sell it. It's not yours, really, right? But, okay, I'm going to draw the top of this car. Even though it'll be covered by a tree later. Okay. Hmm. So, over this wheel trying to figure out and it's just kind of about like sketching and just kind of figuring out where things go and it doesn't have to be super accurate it's just a painting okay unless you're doing it for a car enthusiast which I would never do that because this would frustrate me way too much to make it realistic mm -hmm. let's go straight back and then there's like a light here and a bumper bumper okay you know, like it looks wrong but it's fine <laughs> it's fine it's fine guys it's fine it's fine okay this front window That. Like that. You know what? I got the gist of it. So now I'm just going to erase these extra lines, make them a little lighter. And we're going to just go into painting because that's my favorite part. I'm not here to draw for hours. I'm not really great at drawing. It is my least favorite part. I like the painting and the shading and all of that. So these are just going to be guidelines. And I'm going to try and make this as simple as I can. Okay? Because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that just overwhelmed me. <laughs> okay, so now I have a light wash, a light wash, a light sketch of where I want my car to be. So I'm just gonna take my reference photo, I'm gonna put it over there. <sighs> and I'm gonna grab my paints. We're gonna try this, okay. And I am gonna grab a smaller brush because I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this Cadmium Red Deep which is my favorite red to use. And I'm gonna use a light wash and I'm just going to go over the whole car in this lighter wash of red. It's not too light. Mm, hold on. There's a line there I just want to get rid of. So I feel like using that photo, I was trying to make it too close to what the car actually looked like. And this is more of just like a, a fun Christmas painting. And I feel like I was focusing too much on like details of the car and it was stressing me out. So if that happens, just do the general shape like I'm going to do because I hate drawing. <laughs> I hate it. Now I have some of these lines this is not a good idea to use an eraser while you have watercolor should have erased those lines a bit better before oh well i'll cover it with shading okay like that but yeah this is supposed to be fun not stressful 
So now I'm gonna go back in with my red, lots more whoa, on my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna go around the car, leave some of that light wash in certain places. So maybe like the top of here of the wheel. So do the underneath with the darker bit. But you want this to be pretty red. We can always go back in later with some white ink if you need to to get those highlights because I find it's a little hard with red to get that light wash to look like a highlight because light red is just pink and I don't really want the car to look too pink. I want it to be red. So there we go. And to get a darker red, more of a shadow, I'm gonna take a bunch of my red and I'm gonna take some green and add a bit of Hooker's Green Dark to mute that to act as a shadow, okay? If you're ever looking for the shadow color of a color, add its contrasting color just a bit to add a bit of darkness without losing that tone that you want. It will add a bit of brown, but I mean, I find with like red, it's fine. If you look at a shadow, it's kind of brown, right? Okay, just adding that darkness, especially to the under parts of the car. Like that. Like that, okay? And now I might actually pick up a bit of the color I just washed and dried off my brush. I'm just gonna soak up a bit of that color on the door and then right above this wheel and above this wheel to get some more highlights and on the hood of the car like that. Okay, now we're gonna let it dry and then we'll come back. Okay, so the next part I'm gonna do this painting, I am gonna do the tree before I add more detail to this car because I wanna add a bit of shadow underneath that tree. I'm just gonna turn this around. I'm gonna get my green. So I'm gonna start off with a light green so I can add the darker shadows in after. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that pointy end of the tree. And I just wanna do some rough leaves coming out. Leaves, pines coming out. Mm, I feel like it should have been smaller. It's fine. Love, love. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't speak guys. I want some rough pine needles coming out the side, is what I meant to say. Now, as you can see, as I'm going over some of the red, you know, it's just, you can still see that red underneath and that's not ideal, but we're gonna add some shading. So hopefully you don't see that. And of course the tree gets bigger as it gets closer to the base. I'm gonna do a couple stray ones up here. And the top of a tree, of uh, a Christmas tree is, um, or pine tree, the needles go up and then eventually they start to fall down, just so you know. So have them pointing up first. Okay, and use this light color. Just using the tip of your brush, really, really loose. Do not make it too, you know, specific, like, I don't even know what the word is. Okay, just really loose, all different directions. Ow, like that, I just hit my head on my, on my uh, light, it's fine. Now I'm gonna go back in, I'm a mess today, guys. And I'm gonna add some darkness, especially through the center of the tree, using Hooker's Green Dark. So that first green I used was Sap Green, and now I am using Hooker's Green Dark to get that darker tone. Okay. And I'm gonna make it a bit more fuller as it's laying on top of the car. I want a little bit of white space in between up here, but because it would be squished up against that car, I'm gonna make it a bit more full there, okay? Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to take an even darker green. 
So I'm going to take my Hooker's Green Dark and make my favorite color, which is Hooker's Green Dark and Dioxazine Purple mixed together. Like that, yes. Okay, and that's going to be an even darker shadow underneath. And I'm just going to drop in that color there. And I might do more after once it is dry just to get a bit more um, detail in the tree because it's just going to blend together right now because it's all wet so I might add some more layers on top after okay and there is our tree for now I'm going to use a smaller brush I'm just going to take some burnt umber sorry if I'm sniffling guys it's that time of the year and I'm just going to take, there we go, do that stem. And I can even, you know, drop a little bit throughout the tree. Like that. Okay. Okay. And so while that's drying, we can move on to the wheels. So we're going to take our black. <sighs> okay, breathe. And I'm going to just do... Some circles for the wheels. These tires. Is that black? Nope. That was Payne's Gray. Actually, I kind of like that. And I'm going to leave a white bit in the middle. A white circle in the middle, okay? Like that. Do the same thing over there. Okay, I'm gonna wash off my brush and I'm just gonna just move a bit of that color in towards the middle. Not completely though, just using a wet brush. Clean it off again. Cause I don't want it white, but I don't want it like black. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna leave all this to dry and then we will come back and do the detail on the car. Okay, now that it's all dry, we can work on the detail of the car. So I'm just gonna do a bit more shading. So I'm gonna add some more green to my red over here to make it darker, more of a muted red to get that shadow. And I'm just going to do shadow around the wheels. And because my car is dry, it's gonna be an extra layer. It's not gonna blend like how our first round of shadows did, okay? So they're going to be sharper lines. And you see it's still red. Like I'm not taking a black color to do the shading. <clears throat> Just under here. Okay. And then you can even blend it out too if you don't want a harsh line. So just take a, a, bleh, a clean wet brush. And just, uh, well, it's already dried so it didn't blend out. It's all good. I feel like this painting is not working for me today, guys. I've tried this a couple times. It's not really going my way, but it's okay. It's still working out. Still working out. We're doing it. Okay. And then we are going to do the door. Okay. And then a little line in between here. And I'm actually going to make a bit of shadow underneath where this tree is with that darker red. Okay. Making it a bit darker under there. And we will go over it again, that tree again, to make it a bit more defined in some areas, okay? So I'm just going to do the lines. You can look at a reference photo for where the lines of the windows and everything go. I'm just doing kind of like a rough idea. I'm not even really looking at a photo anymore. not a fan of this part. I'm just going to go over it and make it all wet. Blend it out. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Just gonna add a bit more red over here. Like that. I might actually add, add some black detail on it after. Um, I'm gonna add a bit of Payne's grayish silvery. That's blue. It's all good layer than that down here like that and then I'm gonna take what color would the light be it's all good I'm gonna take some black and I'm gonna start doing a bit more detail so around the tires I'm going to make a small circle in the middle and then like that. Small circle in the middle, dots, like that. And then these windows, I think I might use, no, nope, that's black, some Payne's gray. In these windows so I'm just gonna wash most of it off do a very light wash inside these windows paints gray like that okay and then I'm gonna take more paint gray, more paint, make it darker, and then up towards the top of the windows inside. I'm gonna let it bleed in that wet area. Take a bit of it off, blend it out a bit. Okay. Like so. Okay, there we go. And now I think I'm just gonna add some black detail to the car, I'm just making sure it's dry. Actually, I'm gonna come back when it's fully dry, just so I don't have any black lines that are bleeding into the red bits. Okay. Now it's dry, I am going to take my black. You could always take a black marker too if you wanted to define some of the lines like that. Might be easier. Just maybe around the windows. Just realized my car does not have a car mirror. Hmm, oh well. <laughs> we'll figure out a way to add one. Go around here. Bumper. I'll go in there with gray after the lights. The door handle. The hood of the car. Yes. Okay, maybe just go light outline here. Very, very light. Okay. Now I forgot a door handle. So let's see if I can add one. <laughs> Not a door handle, a mirror. Let's just do this. I'm going to add a, tri a triangle, a rectangle here. <laughs> add a bit of darkness, maybe a bit of black. There, add some shadow at the bottom of it. Ta-da, a mirror. Okay, there we go. There is the mirror. And now, last but not least, we are going to add some more detail to this tree. So I have our lighter colors thrown down. Now I am just going to take that dark green again that we're gonna make. 
Hooker's Green Dark, Dioxazine Purple. Now I am going to slap some pine needles kind of just using the, the shape of my brush to get some texture on this tree, okay? Very, very rough little kind of scribbles. Now I kind of wish I left that first layer a bit lighter. Just looking at it now, I think it would be a bit more vibrant if I did that. I'm gonna do smaller up here so you get that lighter piece. Okay, like that darkness right at the base like that and there you go okay there is your christmas beetle getting ready to take their christmas tree home thank you all so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for more have a great day guys bye